Reader Spotlight. But what we're doing is something called the Money Radio Spotlight, where we're spotlighting different hosts like we have all week. Today's host is a veteran here of Money Radio, uh, Bob Roth. He's the managing partner of Cypress Home Care Solutions. Bob has assisted in creating Cypress Home Care Solutions with his family since 1994. He's the host of Health Futures, heard every Friday at noon here on Money Radio. The show's been on for 10 years. Bob, welcome to Business for Breakfast. Business for Breakfast. Thank you so much, James. And I and I want you to know you're doing an amazing job. <laughs> well, you're, 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 you really are. And uh, I, I can't thank you enough for having me on this morning. You know, James, I don't know if you know it or not, but this month actually starts our 11th year. Is it 11 years? 11 years. Uh, do you do you have a local radio show host that's been on the air? M- maybe uh, Steve's... Jurich. Jurich, Jurich has know. been on for about 10 years, yeah. All right, so he and I are probably you neck guys, and neck. Well, you know, your commercial for Cypress Home Care was the first commercial read I ever did on Money Radio. When it was KFNN back in the day. Oh, and I, lo- and I loved it, too. So, how, how can we leave mom all alone, <laughs> right? <laughs> yep, that, that was, was it. That was my line. <laughs> how could I leave mom all alone in her house? I had to sound sad. You, you did, and you know, it's, it's a sad thing, and if mm-hmm. I can just transition to really talking about aging and you know, I, I don't know if our listeners really realize that one third of our population, 65 and older, lives home alone. And it is anticipated between 2040 and 2050 that the number is going to grow to 50 percent. 50 percent of older adults living home alone. Just imagine that and how lonely that experience is and the fact that there aren't the resources to help those folks. Well, you're an advocate for the senior living community because all the the articles that you've written, the legislation that you've helped get in place with our local and uh, government, state government. Oh yeah, that you've done, and the experts that you've had on your show from Lynn. What's Lynn Sue's new last name? I forget. Her her last her her last name is Lynn Sue Flood. Flood, right? Lynn Sue which Flood. we knew her as Lynn Sue Cooney from Channel Twelve, right? And she's over with um, Hospice, Hospice of the Valley. Yeah, you know, um, I, I remember one. One guest you had on, and I thought it was a great idea, was a, a woman and her husband, and they did bathrooms for the elderly. They remodeled the bathroom so that, like, you could just take, you could sit down and take a shower. And, and mm-hmm. you know it's so funny that you bring them up? You're talking about uh, Deanna, Deanna and uh, Sandy uh, Goldstein. Right, yeah. Their office is, like, right in your building next door. No kidding. Yeah, it's called Measure Abilities. And what they do is they not only redesign their bathroom, but they redesign a home to make it ergonomically pleasing or acceptable to someone that has mobility issues and challenges relating to aging. So, you know, placing the grab bars in the right place in the bathroom, making sure that, you know, there are no trip hazards in the home. Uh, you know, Sandy is a physical therapist, so uh, it's a shameless plug. For measurabilities, they but they do a, a great job. I was going to say it's a great idea because you know when people get older, their their independence slowly slides away. You mm. know they can't drive or they can't drive at night. But just the simple thing of taking a shower by yourself, right? You know you don't. You, if that's a private, intimate thing, and now you got to have someone help you, and you got to have you know. I just think it's a great idea, and that they've always stuck me the times they've been on your show that it, it's a genius idea to to help our our aging adult community. Well, and you know they don't necessarily, and I, and I want our listeners to realize that a lot of our clients that we are caring for are living home alone, and they don't necessarily need someone in the shower helping them. They need someone stand, standing by, right? Just in case. I mean, you imagine the fear one feels that. Oh, I got to get into the shower and I'm all alone. God forbid if something were to happen, I don't have a phone nearby. Uh, I don't have anyone to help me in case I fall or if I just need some assistance. Right. And that's just some of the guests that you have on the experts. Like you've had different doctors, oh, heart doctors, um, gynecologists yeah, on I, the show. I had a, uh, a, a, an expert in women's sexual health and, uh, I will tell you, it was the first time that I was blushing when. Yeah, it when, was. Uh, when, and you were too when she was, was talking about female orgasms. Yeah. I mean, I, it, me too. Yeah. But but you know what? I think people lose sight of the fact that you know, you know, older adults are sexually active too. Yeah, and, they're and people. Just yeah. Like, yeah. Exactly, know? and they have desires and emotions, and you know, just because you're older 
that doesn't mean you can't be sexually active. Right. But that's just some of the guests that you have, the experts that come on. Right. You know, and even the different um, retirement communities that you've had come on and talk about what they, one of them had a five-star uh, like restaurant or two of them. Oh, yeah. The one over by the Biltmore, I think. There, there, there's a couple of them. You're talking about the Clarendale. But, but I will tell you, you know, I've had some amazing hosts or guests here mm-hmm. on the show. You know, I've been hosting amazing guests. And, you know, one that I treasure and, and I love having on is, is Sharon Harper. And for those that don't know Sharon Harper, she's the founder and CEO and president of Plaza Companies. And she also is the one that really built a lot of the senior living communities that exist here in our community. She actually built like one of the very first assisted living and skilled nursing and independent living communities, which we call uh, continuing caring uh, communities, you know, the CCRCs, that's what we call them. Uh, and, you know, she was one of the first, she's kind of a rock star here in our community. And, you know, the, the retirement communities always had kind of a stigma. You know, I'm going to go there to die. Right. I don't know if you watched The Sopranos like I did. Oh, yeah. When they put his mother in, they put his mother in a retirement community. A, 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 according to the show, he was paying a lot of money to get her into this nice facility. And all she saw it was, you're just sticking me here to die. You're putting me on an iceberg, and you're shipping me out into the ocean. And which they were trying to say, no, there's there's people here your age. There's activities. It's not a death sentence. You could probably live longer because you don't. You're not shut into your home. You're not all alone, like you said earlier. You know, it, it's interesting that you brought up that example because I think that's something that is near and dear to my heart. I wrote a column for the Jewish News just last week about long-term care and how Americans aren't prepared for this. And your example about the cost. It, it, that that one endures to move from living in their home into a continuing care retirement community or an independent living community or assisted living, the cost is astronomical. And, the, and my appeal to our listeners and to Americans and really people worldwide is they have to plan for this because guess what? The government's not going to be there. No. And and what was the five words I think Ronald Reagan said to fear? The government is here to I'm help. I'm here to help you. I'm, <laughs> I'm with the government. I'm here to help you. Exactly. Yeah. But I'm here to tell you that Medicare doesn't pay for it. There aren't safety nets in the system that is there to help you. If you're destitute and you are really sick and you meet the criteria for Medicaid, you can get Medicaid services, but it's not a lot. It really isn't. And it's not for free. People think it's for free, but whatever's left in your state, and whatever they've spent, they claw back and, and they take that from you or take that from your family. Wow, that's, yeah, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. It, so, I mean, look, I, I, my, my appeal to our listeners is really to, hey, think about long-term care. Think about the cost. Talk to your professionals. This is a great network here at Money Radio. You have incredible guests here, financial service folks, that can really help you plan for the future. So it's important for you to talk to your financial advisors, talk to your CPAs, talk to your attorneys. Make sure you have a plan in place. And in my article, I talked about how you should start thinking about it as soon as you graduate college, maybe even high school. Oh, wow. To really start thinking about how do I save for my retirement, but not just my retirement, but when my long-term care needs are going to be. Right. That should be lumped into your retirement plan. 100%. All right. Now, I want to shift over to Cypress Home Care, your business. Sure. Uh, you started in 1994. How did let us? I know how you got started in it because you know I ran the show and I listen to the show every week. You but do I want you run to the tell- show. <laughs> I just want you to know I couldn't do it without you, well, James. I appreciate that. My mom's <laughs> listening, so she'll appreciate that too. Um, but go ahead and tell our listeners who don't know your your backstory of how Cypress started. All right. So first of all, let, let me just tell your listeners: if you're not tuning in, we're on Fridays every single week, 12 o'clock to one o'clock. We're in our 11th year, which is, it is just amazing. I was going to slip in an expletive. And <laughs> yeah, well, we didn't hit the button. <laughs> but uh, also, too, if you want to go, if you don't have, if you can't listen Fridays at noon, go to Bob's website, cypresshomecare.com. All his radio shows are there. 
and you can pick a topic and, and listen and maybe a topic that, that you've been worrying about and you could get some answers. But go ahead, tell us more about and, Cypress. And also, thanks to you, we're podcasting. Yeah, well. We are podcasting, so you can find us on Apple and Google under Health Futures. Um, real quickly, uh, 1985, and I want to paint this picture for our listeners. It was January 2nd, the day after New Year's. My mother had a massive heart attack at 48 years old. And you have to remember this generation, she grew up in the 50s and the 40s and early 60s. You know, they smoked cigarettes. They didn't eat exactly very well. And a lot of they, red meat. A lot of red meat. They lived a very fast and hard life. And, and her heart just kind of blew up in her chest and wasn't quite the same afterwards. She spent about a month and a half in the hospital, 18 days under a drug-induced coma. And when she came out, she came out a very different person. And my brothers and I, my dad, found ourselves as what I like to refer to as accidental caregivers. We weren't expecting to be caregivers, and we were caregivers for my mom. And it was an incredible journey. There weren't home care companies back in 1985 like Cypress Home Care. Fast forward, parents move here in 1987 because the climate is more conducive to my mother. My brothers and I come out here to visit and love the valley. And in 1994, we stood up Cypress Home Care solutions to be able to care for other people's moms and dads in the way we care for our own mom. Well, tell us some of the services that Cypress provides. I appreciate you asking. So basically what we do is we provide in-home supportive care assistance. What do I mean? I'm talking about helping with activities of daily living and digging a little deeper into that. We help our clients, people that need assistance with making their bed, getting dressed, helping them with shower. You know, I think the optimal word is the we assist them. When they need total care, that's when it falls outside of our scope. So we're, we're driving them to appointments. We're reminding them to take medications. We're helping with meal planning. Meals are a real challenge for older adults. And, you know, they don't have the time to make the meals. And oftentimes, you know, they're eating cereal or really nothing at all. And sometimes they forget to make or even eat meals. So it's really important for us to be there to help them make sure they're, they're properly taking in food and nutrition. So all of those things, reminding them to medication, take their medications and driving them to appointments. So we're, we're kind of like a surrogate sons and daughters when the sons and daughters can't be there. We're an extra pair of ears and eyes and feet and hands for them. And a lot of times we're there just for companionship. Because right, of that lonely, lonely because yeah. of that loneliness. Right. Um, give us the phone number in case someone has an aging parent. They want they want to contact you to get you're, Cypress. You're so good at this. Thank you <laughs> so much, James. Uh, the phone number is 602-264-8009. Or go out to our website at cypresshomecare.com. And as I shared earlier, we're podcasting now. Or you can go up to our website to c- catch our previous episodes. Right. And like I said, 11 years on the station. 11 years on the station, and April this year, we will be 30 years years. at this. And we are the oldest in-home supportive care service company that's here in the Valley. Well, give that number one more time because I want – if people have an aging parent or grandparent, they need to – because, look, I know you. I know that you're putting the best people in their homes that they can trust and can count on to take care of their parents. So – Give that number one more time and then tell us who's going to be on today's show. 602-264-8009. Again, 602-264-8009. And as I shared earlier, our show comes on at noon. And today I've got on the show, I've got Carla Suter and I got Sarah Bertrand. And both of them are from a group called Contexture. And what Contexture is doing, just so you know, so many of Americans have not done the planning that I talked about earlier. And the real planning that I really want to talk about is advanced directives, advanced directives. So I just want our listeners to understand that if you can tell your loved ones what your wishes are when you are incapacitated and you can't make those decisions, and I'm talking about life support, how you want to be cared for, you are going to give them a gift, a gift so that they know exactly what your wishes are. And this is a topic that is so near and dear to my heart and to so many people in the healthcare industry because there are a lot of people that go into ERs 
emergency room departments, and they try, meaning the Hippocratic Oath that these doctors take, they're going to bring you back to life. And that person may not have wanted to be brought back to life because they're not going to be the same person they were That's before, true. before they had the issue. So really important for families to sit down and have these discussions. It's not a one discussion. It's a series of discussions in terms of what their wishes are. So Contexture is going to be on the show today. And I urge our listeners here today to listen in and and see what they have to and say or you, listen to hear what they have to say. And if you say. can't make it today, listen to the, go to the website. You can listen to the show anytime at your leisure. CypressHomeCare.com. Yep. And, and, you know, I want to say something real quick. The go caller ahead. that called in and say, who, who do they predict to be in the Super oh, Bowl? Oh, right. Yeah, I, I got to tell you, I mean, football, yeah. I know you're a Green Bay Packers yeah. fan, and, you know, they're not going to be there yeah. this year, you unfortunately. Wanna, you want to stick around and do the business of sports real quick with me? Sure. All right. Sure, well, let's around. go to break. And then we'll come back. We'll do the business of sports with Bob Roth. I love it. You're listening to Business for Breakfast. We'll be right back. And now, on Money Radio's Business for Breakfast show, it's time for the business of sports. Yes, it is time for the business of sports. And my co-host right now on our segment, uh, Cypress Home Care uh, Managing Partner, Bob Roth, host of Health Futures today at noon. Bob, let's talk football. I know you're a Ravens fan because oh, yeah. you're from Baltimore. I like the Ravens. And everybody's picking Lamar as MVP. And and Lamar, is cr- it's crazy. This is the challenge I have is the fact that here it is. They're playing the last game of the year against the Steelers, their divisional rival, and Lamar's not even playing. No, they're sitting him out. They're sitting him out because they, they, they already clinched. You know, home field advantage, mm-hmm. the the number one seed in the AFC, they're going to get a, 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 a buy, bye, and uh, they're going to rest them up. You I, know what's funny is that happened to Green Bay one time, was they had the number one seed, or the number two seed at that time, and they had the bye. They said Aaron, um, Aaron Rodgers doesn't play against Detroit. Right. So they set him. So he went two like weeks. two yeah. weeks without playing, came back, was rusty, and I believe we got bounced out mm-hmm. or our first game of the season. So – I think that can have a – I mean, you don't want him to get hurt. No, you don't. But you also, you know, I, I like the fact that the NFL now makes the last game of the year a uh, uh, division game because there's so many times. Like, I, I know one time the the Colts were about to be – they could have been undefeated. And um, they set all their players. They set Peyton Manning and everybody down for the playoffs because they had nothing to play for. And they lost. And they lost. And people were mad because they wanted to see pay. You know, you pay. I want to go see. You know, you want to go see Lamar Jackson play. You're paying all this money, and he's sitting on the bench. You know, if if Harbaugh had called me, I I would have told him play him at least the first quarter, yeah, just so he gets some reps in and and he gets a little feel. You know, you don't have to play the whole game. And it can energize the the team, right? You know, because there's there's they what do they have to play for? Another win? It's like people say, what do the Cardinals have to play for? You know. You know Pride? what? I, I but I have to say this. I I am not a fantasy football player. Me neither. But but I have a lot of friends that do, and and you know what? Fantasy football leagues get this because their last game of the season was last week. Oh they, yeah. They they don't make it this week because they know that they're gonna you know a lot of these playoff teams are gonna sit players. Yeah. And and you know what? You know, <laughs> fantasy football is all about the players, and yeah. if your player's not playing, that's right. Then you're 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 you're, you're going to be. So you pick, know what? Out of luck. So your pick is uh, the Ravens, huh? Well, I like the Ravens, and, huh? and and I do like the 49ers. And and I will tell you, the team that everyone should be watching is the Browns, because yes. jo- Joe Flacco has had a resurgence. And, yep. and I got to tell you, I mean, if you watched that game last week and you watched the game the week before, there's something about experience, yeah. and experience does matter. And and he can take the team, put them on his back, and and take them down the field and score touchdowns. Well, Bob, thanks for being on the show today. Well, I thanks pre- for being a part of Business uh, Sports with us. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yep. Good luck to Green Bay next yes. year. Yes, and we're going to surprise everyone and be in the Super Bowl. There you go. <laughs> <laughs>